Hey guys, it's Bree, and I'm here today to do a beauty and fashion haul. These are some of the things that I picked up within the last month or so. First of all, before we start this video, I would like to say excuse my nail. I am having one of my little situations that I always have. One of my nail popped off, and I still had to record a video. Sorry if I sound a little stuffy, but I'm trying to get over this cold. And yeah, if you guys are interested in this video, continue to watch. If you're interested in what color lip that I have going on today this is the MAC stone lipstick and it's absolutely cute so if you guys are interested in this video continue to watch bye okay guys let's get started I went by Sephora MAC um I think Sephora MAC Target I've been everywhere. I've just been doing a lot of beauty shopping and a lot of fashion shopping. So I'm going to kind of try to speed through this video and combine my fashion haul and my beauty haul in one video. So let's get started. Here's my bag from Sephora. And I really had to get this bag, I mean this haul out guys. I'm sorry I kind of sound a little stuffy but I needed to do this haul really really quick because I was cleaning up and I was just sick of seeing this stuff in bags. I'm ready to put this stuff to use. So first of all, I picked up this NARS concealer. Um, I heard so many people talking about this product and this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer and the color that I picked up was Carmel and this is the concealer that I've been wearing the last week. So I have used some of this stuff guys but I'm just ready to put it away. Um, so this is the NARS Radiant Concealer. Absolutely amazing. Super, super duper creamy. Um, it's kind of a dupe for the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. But of course the NARS is very, very, um, it's like way more thicker and a little bit more creamier. But if you can't afford to spend $30, you can pick up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and it works the same way. Okay, then I also picked up the Smashbox Primer um, Photo Finish Water that everybody's been talking about. I mean, I think I picked this up more so for YouTube. Um, I've seen a lot of people talking about it, so I was like, let me give it a try. Um, I used it about five times. And I can't really see a difference in my skin. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know if it's working, but I never use this product by alone. Although I use this product, I still, I still have to use, oh, sorry. I still have to use my um, Maybelline Infallible Setting Spray. This is my handy dandy setting spray, and I have to use this setting spray no matter what. So I do mix these together, and my makeup don't budge okay stay all day so um i can't tell you 100 percent how this work because i haven't used it alone yet but when i do i'll let you guys know okay then i picked up the nars foundation i know you guys have heard me say that you know i wasn't really feeling the consistency of the foundation but i wanted to give it a try um, so I bought it because I heard so many people talking about this foundation. I'm like, damn, something got to be wrong. I have to try it out, take it home, wear it about three to four times and see if I love it. I do love this foundation. Um, I like this foundation. I won't say that I necessarily love this foundation. It works really, really well. The coverage is really, really flawless. But the only thing is I have a hard time blending this foundation in. Um, I don't know. It's like when I use the beauty blender, it takes um, too much of the product off because it's so thin. And then when I use like a buffing brush, it's really, really streaky. Like I have a lot of lines. So what I have been doing is I'll squeeze a little bit of the foundation in my hand and rub it on my face just to get like a smooth surface and then I'll go back with my beauty blender and just blend in and that's been really really working for me but I was having a hard time finding um a way to blend this foundation the color that I picked up was MAC I don't know I don't know M-A-C-A-O y'all know what that is Okay, so I picked up that, and I also picked up the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Mattifying Primer. You guys, if you guys are new to my channel, I like my makeup really, really matte. I mean, I do like to add a little shimmery 
or a little glow on my cheeks but I'm not really into dewy foundations I like a matte flawless look that's just my thing and it's summer you know so I wanted to pick up a new matte mattifying primer um I have a lot of primers but I heard so many people talking about this product I wanted to pick it up for myself absolutely amazing product really really smooth really really pretty um it definitely mattifying your it mattify your face. It don't work as good as the Becca primer. I know a lot of people don't like that primer, but that is my primer, okay? I'm not that oily, so that primer is a little too much for me. It's a little too drying for me, but I still love it. But this is like a step under that primer. So if you don't like the Becca primer and you feel like it's just too drying for your skin and you don't like the little flaky look before you put on your foundation then I do recommend that you get this by Makeup Forever okay and then I also picked up this setting powder from Sephora the color is called deep and this was on sale this was like a, just a setting powder that was on sale and you can never go wrong with too many setting powders I did like kind of merge away from powders um at least color powders i wasn't really um wearing too many color powders but it's summertime honey i want this face to be matte and flawless as long as possible so i did pick up this powder and it was on sale for like 11 dollars um, then they gave me some sim samples of the Glam Glow. I want to try that. Then they gave me some samples of the Living Proof. I'm just going through this bag. Then they gave me another sample of the Glam Glow. And then they gave me, I got the, um, I, I had enough point for the 500 um, points gift. And that's the Marc Jacob Liner mascara and lipstick so i don't really like that lipstick um not my cup of tea but i'll give it to my mom on um, the mascara it's like that um it looks really really nice but the liner i have been using the liner a lot i hope i didn't run out but i have been using this web tip liner absolutely amazing okay so that's what i got from sephora I feel like I got something else. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Here's another bag. Um, I went to buy Sephora yesterday, and I seen so many people talking about this product. You guys, if you are new to my channel, I really struggle with um, eyeliner. Like, I don't care what type of eyeliner I use. It usually water in my waterline because my eyes are always watering. Like, as soon as I hit the door, I don't know if it's the climate or the weather or the... Um, the wind but my eyes are always watering so i needed a waterproof eyeliner and i did hear a lot of people talking about this and i thought this was really really cool this is the day the clay paint liner and it comes in a really really different um tube i'm not used to so the eyeliner comes like this and you just squeeze some from the top like that and then you just take the brush it does come with the brush I don't know what I did with the brush, but the brush is absolutely amazing. I use this eyeliner today, and when the eyeliner dries, it dries to a dark, a dark, a dark um, matte finish. And I really, really like that. I placed it in my waterline and also on top of my um, eyelid. So I'm going to see how that works. Today is my first day wearing it, so I'm going to see if it runs when I hit the door. Okay, so that's what I bought from Sephora. Yeah, so we're going to move on to MAC. I didn't get anything from MAC, but just one thing. I got the new um, lipstick, and this is called Stone. And this is the color that I have on my lips right now. And it's like a nude brown taupey look. It looks like a stone color. It reminds me of the um, 90s. I am thinking about doing a 90s video for you guys. A makeup tutorial. Because I just really love that look. Um, take me back honey. Take me back to the 90s. <laughs> um, and also I wanted to try out the Pro Long Wear Waterproof Foundation. I have it on today. Um, they gave me a nice sample. Guys, I do recommend before you buy your product, 
foundation um, make sure you try it out I went to Mac and got a sample the color that I picked up was um, a NC 50 um, I really like the product it's just a little too red but me being a makeup artist I know how to work the product I know how to balance it out but um, I don't know if it's waterproof yet because I just put it on about 30 minutes ago so we shall see okay um, I picked up this Morph Morphe brush palette this is the Jaclyn Hill palette I finally picked up this palette absolutely amazing palette I do think they went a little bit overboard with the palette um, the pigmentation is amazing I do wish the browns and the um um, the browns was a little bit more richer. They are nice colors. Don't get me wrong. Um, I really like them. But they look more pigmented in the, um, the palette. Because when I put it on my eyes, it's just not as pigmented as I would think it would be. Like, for example, this is the darkest color here. This is like the brown, dark brown color. And there is the color right there, but when you put it on, it's like, mm, I wish it was a little bit more darker. But I do like this palette, and this is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. Then I also finally, 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 honey, I finally picked up the Anastasia Contouring Cream Contouring Palette. Um, this color is the deep one. I absolutely I love, love, love this palette. I've been wearing this palette almost every day. I just love the shades in it. I do think I could have gotten away with the medium palette, but me being me extra I went and got the deep palette um the consistency is very drying but I like that I like the dry creamy consistency it allows me to work with the product the way I want to work with the product um but I have been using this thing like crazy that's why it looks all dirty but I do think I am thinking about ordering the um the medium because I have not highlighted with this palette yet if you guys can see I haven't even really touched these colors because, um, yeah, I haven't highlighted it with it yet because they are a little too dark for me to highlight with. Um, yeah, so that's what I got from Macy's and also Morphe. Okay, so I want to move on to Target. I went to Target and I picked up the Vegas Nay. She is like a very popular YouTuber and Instagrammer. Um, she came out with a lash and they sell them at Target. They are $7.99. The one that I picked up was Grand Glamour. I think these are the biggest ones. Absolutely amazing. Like, I love these lashes. This is my fifth time wearing the lashes. I'll zoom up so you guys can see them but the lashes are really really like um hairy they like really really like what, what what would i say like furry they are really really big pretty and dramatic and i absolutely love these lashes real techniques beauty blender um i love this beauty blender but I can't even talk. I love this Beauty Blender sponge way more than I love the original Beauty Blender. Don't ask me why. I just do. I just prefer this one over the little pink one from Sephora. And it's not because of the price. I just like the angle and the shape of it. Okay. Then I went by Walmart, y'all. My nose. Oh, my gosh. It's runny. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Then I went by Walmart and I picked up a couple of things from Walmart. I was getting my tire fix on my car and I was like, you know what? Let me do a little shopping. So I picked up this new Maybelline Super Stay Better Than Skin Better Skin Foundation. This is new. This is fresh on the market. Well, it's new to me. I picked up that and I also picked up the concealer. If you guys would like to see a video, a live demo on this product, let me know. I absolutely love this product. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, my skin be on fleeky with this product. Now, the color did look a little dark. The color that I picked up, this is the darky shade. It's coconut. 95 coconut. And it did look a little too dark for my complexion. But like I said, I know how to balance it out. It's okay to go a little darker on the foundation because I highlight so much. It kind of balances it out. It just gives me a nice 
tan. Um, I go a little bit more easier on the contouring and the bronzer when my foundation is a little darker. Um, I did talk about, if you follow me on Instagram, you did see me post a video about um, this foundation, like showing you guys how it looked. And honey, I looked at filter, okay? Um, the, the, um, Super Stay line, I haven't seen the Super Stay lines probably within the last four or five years. Um, so I'm glad they came back with the Super Stay line. It's like a matte line. This finish is definitely a matte finish. Um, and it's a okay, yeah, so I like that product. You guys would like a separate video on me doing a live review and um, on this product. Let me know. Then I also picked up this Maybelline. Um, this was new to me. This is the Maybelline um, Dream Bronze BB Cream. And I thought this was more so of a like a bronzer, a liquid bronzer. But when I did open it up, it's actually a foundation. Well, it's a BB cream, but it looks like a foundation. There it is there. And the color that I picked up was Medium Deep Bronze. Um... It's like a foundation. I don't know how this product works. Um, I never tried it out before. Oh, it does have a bronzing glow to it. Oh, that is really, really pretty. It looks like a foundation, y'all. But when you put it on, it's like so bronzy. You see that? That's really cute. I might use this for my legs, honey. You know, when I go to the beach or to the pool, I might just rub this on my legs like lotion. Who does that? Brie does that, okay? I does. I do things like that. That's like a little secret, but it's like real pretty. Like, I don't know if you guys can even notice it, but yes. Come through, Maybelline. <laughs> That's it from Walmart. I thought I bought some more stuff from Walmart. Oh, I just got some um coochie wash wash. <laughs> I just got some coo coochie wash. This is not what this is called. This is um coochie soap. <laughs> just when it is summer e cleaning wash. It's for your cooter cat and it keeps you clean and fresh down there, honey. I think it's for your all over body, but a lot of girls use this for the cootie cat. And I like this kind. This one is the Simply. It's for sensitive skin. Because I can't use any other kind. Because it's just a little too harsh. But I like this one. And I had three up, honey. Um, I also picked up. I got shit everywhere, y'all. This Sonia Kashuk brush set here. I've had this for like a month, guys. Um... I love that freaking blending brush oh my gosh like that blending brush that comes with this set is absolutely amazing it's never in here I'm always using it I used it today I'm, I love these brushes they are so amazing y'all so your Kashuk brushes are so cute and amazing um I love each and every brush for different things you guys check them out move on to Ulta I didn't get too many things from Ulta so this will be quick I got the um, NYX Eyebrow Gel, and this color is called, Eb um, Chocolate. I should have got Ebony, but Chocolate, Chocolate is a little too ashy for my liking, but it is really, really good. This is a really, really good product. I'm probably going to just add this to my, um, kit, or I might just take it back and get a darker color because I only used it once and I absolutely love the consistency it's very easy to work with and when it dries it dries to like a matte finish and it dries and it keeps your brows in one spot all day so big up the NYX for that and then I also picked up the um NYX micro brush I've been using that one like crazy the color that I picked up was chocolate and like I said I could have gotten ebony which is like one shade darker but I always get chocolate I don't know why I'm scared to get ebony I'll be thinking my shit gonna look black but I will go get I will be getting the black one in this also just to add to the tail of my um brows I like my brows to be um a little darker towards the tail and that's it from oat no and then I picked up this NYX liquid gold eyeshadow really really pretty I got this for a highlighter um 
it looks like it's coming out. I want to see how this works as a highlighter. Let's see, y'all. Let's see together. It was about $5.99. Don't you just hate that shit? I swear, when I sneeze, I feel like my heart stops. Excuse me, guys. So I'm going to see how this looks. Oh my gosh, who gave me this cold, honey? Oh yeah, that is really pretty. It's a little chunky, but that's pretty. I like that. See, I pick up eyeshadows and stuff just to use it as a highlight. Ooh, honey, yes. Do you see that? Give the people the glow, honey. Give the people the glow. Yes, I'm loving that as a highlighter. That's really pretty. See, that girl be thinking. When I mean, I be like, Opal who? Uh, Becca who? No, baby. That looks like, look at that. That is really pretty. I'm going to try it on this cheek, too. Yes. Yes. Give me glow, honey. And this is the Liquid Gold by NYX. I like that. I like that a lot, guys. Okay. <clears throat> what else did I buy? That's it from um Ota. Then I was in Ross and I picked up this blush palette by Coastal Sense. I never seen Coastal Sense palette with this type of um labor on. I don't know if it's like the old school Coastal Sense. That's why I was in Ross. I don't know. Ross been having like BH Cosmetics in Coastal Sense products. I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but they have um City Color, Coastal Sense, BH Cosmetics. They have a lot LA Splash, so they have a lot of um popular name brand products and I picked up this 10 piece brush palette and it's just a blush palette you guys already know I'm not really into blushes but I did see these mauve colors towards the end and this mauve pretty color here and I figured that you know I can get use out of these mauve uh, colors I'm probably not gonna wear these um bubblegum pinks and all that type of color that's just not my cup of tea I don't wear those type of blush then also, guys, I wanted to show you this little cool little beauty box thing that I purchased on eBay. Disregard the way it looks. Um, it's by this Blank Beauty. Um, so what it is, it's a box. And it has stacks of different things. It's like a beauty box. The first row comes with this type of eyeshadow palette and these are really really nice colors it's very very pigmented this is the second one really pretty another neutral one with this really pretty purple color then it comes with this pink looking palette oh this color right there oh that color right there that color <clears throat> let me show you guys how cute that color is oh my gosh that color right there Add a little bit of that color. Oh, that is a really cute transitioning color. Then it comes with this palette here. And these are all blushes. And then it comes with a concealer palette. So it comes with so many different palettes, y'all. Super duper cute. I bought it for $13. So if you are a beginner and you are just getting into makeup, order one of these palettes off of eBay. You won't regret it. I promise you. That's all for the beauty items that I have, guys. So, we're going to move on to the fashion. Um, I'll do a part two. So, this is beauty. And I'll go ahead and do a fashion haul right away. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.